I am going to start off at some new places that I've actually never been to. And then from there, I'll take you to some of my favorite shops today. So I'm really, really excited. I'm gonna take this U-turn, so hang on. That wasn't a bad one, actually. <laughs> um, but so I tried to have like a mindset of what I want to go in for. Um, it's always closed regardless, but at the same time, I kind of have to have an idea of what I'm looking for because if I don't, then I will just end up leaving with just hella random ass stuff. So I am actually thinking of a lot of house stuff still just because I've been looking to decorate. I've been looking for specific colors that I want. So um, with my colors in mind, I also do want a really tall bookshelf. And when I say tall, because I'm so short, probably something like five or five and a half feet tall. Um, and so, I need to stay in the middle lane. And so I am looking for a bookshelf. I'm looking for um, something to hold like clothes pretty much. Um, always plants, always um, like bohemian style stuff, and then bright tur colors because we are getting into, oh my god, there's such a cute coffee shop. Can you see it? Oh my god, I might have to stop there. Um, but anything like bohemian-ish, um, I'm going for really green colors, really vibrant colors right now. Um, I'm just really trying to make my, kind of like my recording slash office area just more playful and I actually picked up a Goodwill store location map so this is gonna make my life easier because I don't know if you've done what I've done and showed up to a Donation Express Center plenty of times it's really really frustrating um, especially when you really really want to thrift um, and I actually just did that but I actually decided to take a minute and talk to them and then ask them and then they gave me this so a Donation Express Center is usually where you drop off your donations which I should have brought some but I didn't so my fault but that's where you drop off. You can't actually shop there. So we're gonna go find the store that we're gonna be going to first. guys first store was a success it wasn't ah, it wasn't as eventful as I thought it was gonna be um, it was actually a little bit empty in my opinion um, I went to the book section and there was like half the bookshelves were full and some of the clothing racks didn't have clothes on them so it was pretty empty so I don't know if this is like a newer location or if they're just low on product in general. This store has like a drive through which I'm driving through it right now, and then they have double doors so that they can put my stuff in my car. I feel fancy. bookshelf this is exactly why I wanted a really big car um, a car that's like wide enough and able to carry not only my makeup for freelancing in my chair 
but for stuff that I thrift. So I'm so excited and this bookshelf has to be like seven feet long and it fits. So I am so excited and I'm so excited to go to the next door. So I am going to type it in on Google. Give me just a second, let me just park and turn off the heater before I melt. Let's see guys, I am going to, all right, so safety first. Enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun being able to go to a whole bunch of different shops um, in the Midtown area, Elk Grove area, Sacramento area. So if you guys haven't been to any of those, I will link down the locations below if you guys have any questions. Um, I did like the locate the first location that I went to, which was um, which was in Elk Grove. And actually, if you're wondering what's behind me, that is the actual bookshelf that I got. So there's really nothing on it yet. Um, I have another really exciting project for this guy. So it's kind of just temporarily here, but I'm so excited I found it. And it's actually, it's almost as tall as my door, which is pretty tall. I'm pretty sure they're about seven feet tall. So I'm super pumped on this bookshelf and it's literally exactly where I want it. Um, otherwise, if I don't use it here, I'm gonna use it in my living room and put books on it and all that good stuff. But I just wanted to jump and show you guys the items that I did grab. I did. I would say I had a successful uh, thrifting experience yesterday um, just based off the bookshelf. Um, and then I, was, I wasn't really in need of anything besides that. So I did pick up just some things that I feel like were just like basics. And then um, I'll show you in a second the other item that I was super excited for. So when I was trying on clothes, I found the super basic um, Mosmo, um, I think that's how you say it from Target, just like super slinky top. It's really, really soft and I'll wear this with some like denim and my chucks just like on a day off or just whenever. But I really like this one because it still feels really good and really soft. And then the other item that I grabbed, which um, I was really excited for when I got the bookshelf, I saw this on my way out and I was obsessed. It's so cute. I wish I could wear this to work, which unfortunately I can't. Um, let me just try it on just so I can show you guys. It's so cute though. It's literally like nice and slingy. 
it's an olive green and the sleeves on it are really wide but I've always wanted an olive green sweater and I found one and it's vintage dollars and like $55 and I found this guy and I actually had it hanging it's so cute I love these tassels and these colors actually match my rug that I thrifted a couple weeks back um, and I was just like shocked when I saw it because these are literally the exact same colors. I loved it, so cute. And then the final thing that I thrifted yesterday was um, a brand new dog bed. So if you have a dog, you know the dog beds are pretty pricey. They range anywhere from about, for a decent one, around like $20 to like beyond. So I actually, the tag is still on it too. Ah, and it's called Pet Bed, Pest Pals, Pest Pals. <laughs> pet bed best pals um, machine washable so you can actually take this off look how big it is you can actually take this off and you can rewash it it's really soft one side is kind of like a pleated and then the other side is just flat white um, it says originally twenty dollars and then I got this for seven so I was super excited I brought it home I tossed diamonds old bed um, because it wasn't because it was not machine washable so it was time to go um, she had her bed which we spent $25 on for about four months and because we couldn't wash it It just didn't smell good. So I'm glad we got this machine washable So now we can just throw it in the washing machine and then she has a fresh little bed every you know every week or so when we wash it so super exciting, but that's pretty much all that I had um, thrifted. Again, like I said, once I found what I was really wanting, which was the bookshelf, I was really excited and all I wanted to do was go home and just start working on the project that I wanted to do for the bookshelf. Um, if you guys have any questions about the video, comment down below. If you did like the video, please like it. And also, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Um, it's been really fun making different kinds of videos for you, but I would love to see what you guys actually like. So leave comments down below and let me know. I respond to all you guys and I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.